guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm showing you how to make these two gift tags so one day i was up until like 4 a.m because i couldn't sleep and i was watching the crafters channel and this came on screen and i just had to purchase it so it's the crafters companion and basically you get these two die and stamp sets so you get 11 pieces in total and um, i will show you what comes with it but you get this one and then you get another one which is just a little bit different so you can buy these individually if you want to but obviously the set was just cheaper so it also comes with some vellum as well and they're only small pieces of vellum but it just fits the tags nicely so we have this one which is the magic of christmas so it comes with a firework like stamp a to and from and believe in then you get the magic die a little reindeer and then a bow some stars and also the tag itself and the other one is called winter forest scene so you get the snowflake backdrop sent with to and from you get some trees a snowbank a love heart another little reindeer stag another tag and another word die now I'm going to do just two of these today because I wasn't having as much time. Um, but I'm just using some random cardstock that I purchased from my local supermarket. Um, <laughs> you can use any cardstock you want, like nail or sew or white, it's up to you. don't think it really matters though. But I did realise something when I was making these tags. The more different coloured kind of cardstock you have, the easier this is. So for me, as you probably know if you are subscribed to my channel or you've watched my previous videos... I don't tend to stock different colour cardstocks, I tend to just have white and then I colour it in or I ink blend it to the specific colour that I want. So that's exactly what I did here. Um, but I, if you wanted to change it, you could always add the colour cardstock you want to use. Um, also, my little die cutting machine is actually a non-branded one. It's from Aldi, it's called So Crafty. Um, and I hardly ever use that, but I just wanted something in front of me so I didn't have to keep getting up and going to my big shop machine anyway this is the tag from the um, magic of Christmas so just die cut that out with some white and then I'm gonna die cut the other piece of, from vellum so the vellum you actually get if you buy the set you get white and it's called winter white and then you get ice blue you get 50 sheets in each um, and there are 3.5 by 2.5 and it's 115 milligrams um, so it's quite thick um, but yeah if you don't buy it and buy it individually it doesn't really matter um, because you can purchase everything individually I just found out it's just cheaper um, so I went on eBay first before I was purchasing off TV because I don't really like purchasing off TV too much just because you can't really trust everything um, so this is actually the first time I ordered something that I've seen on TV properly. Um, but originally I went onto eBay. I did find it on eBay and it was like an extra £7. But I went onto Crafters Companion website and I found it. And when I first added it to my basket as a guest, it was more expensive than eBay was. So I was like, okay, I'll purchase it off eBay. It doesn't really matter to me as long as I can get this. Um, also, just while I'm talking, I've just used some Cosmic Shimmer Silver Embossing Powder. It is linked in my description, so don't worry about that. But yeah, so I was going to originally buy it off eBay and then it went out of stock. So that was like really annoying. Um, <laughs> so I decided that I was going to go back onto Crafters Companion just to see if it was out of stock on there as well. If it was like out of stock everywhere, um, but it wasn't. So I went on to the Crafters Companion website and I typed in I was a new customer because I've never purchased off their official website. I always purchased through another seller. So what I did is I found that if you sign up and you've never been on Crafters Companion, you actually get a percentage discount as well as a certain amount of shipping. So it was cheaper. I think I paid just under £13 for the set. So highly recommend it i did link the crafters companion website below so check that out um so now i'm just using my tape brother the cardstock that i use the silver one is actually from dovecraft and i got that from the works in the uk i'm now using a 
grey ink just to stamp the sentiment that I want which is believe him but the one thing that I did struggle with was actually creating the bow that comes in this set so I was trying to watch the replay um, but the replay doesn't really show you how she makes it so honestly if you know how to make bows you'll be fine with this but with me I just didn't have a clue what I was doing and instead of it being like more 3D-ish it's kind of flat which I guess is great if you're, you know, posting these or something, but yeah. Anyways, I absolutely love how they turned out at the end. Um, I've actually just put them in my Christmas tree, so, you know, I can admire my work every time I look at my tree. But, you know, I'm going to have to make some more of these when I get time. So, you know, this year I'm actually not buying Christmas presents. I decided that I was just going to make some... Um, cakes and stuff so everybody that receives something it's not going to be wasted if that makes sense so in previous years i've bought like gift sets and stuff like that and every time i've asked them oh did you like your gift set have you used it and i always get the same answer it's like oh no i haven't used it yet i'll get to it at some point and by the <laughs> the year after they still haven't used it so i tend to try and buy stuff that i know people are gonna enjoy and use so, like, my mom, I never know what to get her, so, like, I do know a couple of things that she uses all the time, like, she drinks Kenko coffee, so I know I can always buy her that, you know, so, there are things that I find do work better for certain people, so I did ask my family, like, you know, what's your favourite Christmas treat, food-wise, so my aunt told me she likes carrot cake, so I'm gonna make her a carrot cake, my cousins, I'm not entirely sure. I'm thinking I'm going to make some cupcakes or something like that. But I have all the cake boxes and stuff as well, which I purchased earlier in the year because I made donuts for a friend and I wanted to give them her in a box. So I thought I was buying one box. Turns out I bought like 20. So I have too many boxes. So I was like, I don't want to waste them either. So yeah. So there we go. That is the first tag. The twine I just bought off eBay. Um, it's nothing special really um the only thing i would recommend is getting something that doesn't have like as you can see the glitter on the twine it just always frails off and it's so annoying so yeah i recommend getting a different one but so that is that tag um i made it basically similar to the one they used um and now we're going on to the second one so i didn't show you all the die cutting for this one or the coloring in but if you want to know all the colors they are linked in my description so all you have to do is go down there and read it um but yeah so i think these are so cute you could actually probably sell these if you made them in bulk like you know but like i started to try and sell my cards um this year at the end of it like i was like you know people like to buy christmas cards and stuff like personalized and all of that so I was like oh I might just sell some of my cards and see how we go I've sold about three Christmas cards and then I got a new job so my new job sort of like took over and I was like okay so that goes out the window you know I can't really do a full-time business making cards anymore so also you might notice in the new year my video content lacking just a little bit compared to this year um just because obviously I have to work everything around my work schedule so like videos at Christmas were supposed to be going up at 2.30 and 4.30. That's going to have to change because depending on the day, you know, I might not be able to post them um, because obviously I don't really get many breaks. I get a 10 minute break and then a half hour break on three of the days I work instead of the four because the four days I work, one of them I go in at dinner time-ish. So they told me to have my dinner before I came in. So I have to do that, but for my first week, I literally did not eat dinner because I suffer with anxiety. Just having people watch me eat freaks me out and sort of like puts me off eating. So I didn't eat anything. And then when like my, my boss, she went downstairs to have her hair done. So I ate something after she left the room, um, but I also have to work around my clients as well. So like... I can't eat anything if I have a client in. I might say my client. It's not my client, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, I highly recommend, you know, not <laughs> not throwing everything away. But hopefully, as I get more confident and comfortable with her in my surroundings, I'll be able to eat in front of her. But 
for the moment, I don't really eat that much. So, anyways, I actually just have to say, in a way, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> One of the things that freaks me out every time I go in is I have to work, work? I have to walk through a hairdresser's, then up the stairs into another hairdresser's slash barber's slash nail salon. <laughs> And then I have to go up a spiral staircase, and that spiral staircase actually moves and rattles, and it just freaks me out because I keep thinking it's gonna like move and fall. So I do have that kind of worry, but I'm getting there. Um, also, I'm learning some new things, so maybe in the new year I might have some better video quality. So, where as right now, you'll see that the top and bottom have been cut off and blurred, and you can just see like bigger versions of my hands blurred out, but. I'm learning how to use new software and stuff like that, so you don't have to worry too much, you know, about it. But yeah, so that is it for this video, guys. I'm sorry I talked mostly about myself, but, you know, realistically, I wasn't going to do any tag videos this year, whereas the previous year, I did do um, a tag video every other day. So I did a card, then tags and cards, then tags and cards. So you had a variation of things to look at and get inspired by. Whereas this year I've mostly just done cards. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I also hope you're enjoying the Christmas card series. I do apologize if basically videos are going up at times where you thought they were going to go up and they don't. That's just my fault. I also don't understand my comment section, I turn it on before it goes up, and then when it goes up, it turns them off, and then I'll turn them back on, and then for after the hour, it turns them off again, so I have to go back in to turn them back on, and then they stay on, I just don't understand that, so sometimes I do forget, so hopefully you guys will be able to just be patient, or go over to my Instagram and comment on the photo I post, it probably be a lot easier, but... Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe and happy crafting and happy December.